three days ago we had an anniversary we were nasty stay there punishment <laughs> bad peter <laughs> bad bad <laughs> hello welcome on our channel it's us again yes today we are going to go to see Fredrikstad yes your favorite youtubers from Norway <laughs> we are in the middle of Norway <laughs> and we found this <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and this trip is gonna be a little different than usually because we are not going just to ride on the mountains we are going to find some uh, Vikings treasures and Vikings graves and trucks. Yes So this time we are going south and we are going on a coastline Alexandra did this route this time so we let's see what she prepared for us yeah maybe we'll start soon <laughs> when she's gonna take a picture <laughs> it will be a surprise for both of us <laughs> I don't know what I pick what kind of surprise good or bad the best ones best of course one. yeah Sandra has a plan to check every corner, every hole, every, every staircase, and every room in this fortress. You can go also there, there is also some fortress piece. Wow, it's really huge! To check everything we need many hours. Yes, so, so we have to go. Yes, <laughs> so we have to go. Today, it's not just normal weekend, because three days ago we had an anniversary that we are 10 years our together. 10th anniversary. Ten, yeah, 10th anniversary of our we are 10 years together. 10 long years. Very long. <laughs> We know that we said about the Viking tracks and yes, 
that fortress has nothing to do with it, but it was along the way, so <laughs> you know. Those paintings present a way how ancient people understood the way day and night cycle occur. Same history was known in Egyptian and Sumerian history. All of them thought that sun was carried by a chariot and dragged along the sky. Unfortunately, scientists cannot say when those carvings were made, but they are assuming that it could be done in a Bronze Age. There are also Viking ships curved here. Shape of their ships is very well known and easy to recognize. So let's leave our motorcycle and paintings there and let's see what what can we find here. Maybe something more. Oh, and look at this red color. Ay ay. Beautiful. What's going on there? More. Yes, and here we are have some more. Those red paintings there were painted by I think some cultural institute and here you can see how they look without the paint because that's how it it's their natural habitat <laughs> so that how it looks yeah without cosmetics as they say Here is a map, and this map shows the, some old times route, which uh, here you can see some old curvings, old buildings, or some. Okay, if you are interested in old stuff, it's a place for you. We are now going to see some uh, Björnstad sheep. Eh? Oh, this is the largest curving in uh, Europe. Let's see it. It's really that big, and we have to find some place to sleep because I booked and uh, hit the cabin but unfortunately this is end of the September and if you have a will to come to Norway on this, this time be careful because many 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 camping places are already closed but uh, now we have little problem because uh, we were so sure that the, we're gonna find some camping with hit, uh, cabins that we didn't take our tent. our tent so we have nothing with us it's a, it's a little problem <laughs> now we wanted to see many beautiful places and show you that Norway is not just mountains not just nature Norway has also many historical places like those to offer, to offer yeah to see so if you're not some nature fan you can still come here and see something special and unique and on that sign there it was written that that was the place of gatherings and those are our curvings little boat little boat biggest. the biggest one this is the biggest curving in the whole northern Europe oh I'm really disappointed because we have to go back home. There is no camping that is open now. We cannot afford to sleep in the hotel for two or three thousand per night. So it's, it's too much for us and we have to go back home. I'm not, I'm not happy with it. I'm mad, furious. Let's go home. Sad face. We are near Fredrikstad. Some of you that uh, play games can uh, know it from Skyrim, maybe. And we are witness this amazing and colorful sunset it's very nice beautiful beautiful sunset today the weather is perfect there is no wind at all and this orange colors ah oh, perfect 
just perfect. It would be even better if we could take some tent or hitta, but no, <laughs> not today. So we are enjoying our Chinese soup, <laughs> some coffee, late night coffee, and this amazing sunset. And I think that's all for today, and that's all for this uh, episode. I hope you like it. If yes, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Goodbye! Thank you.